about time we did another dinosaur video. This is how to draw a T-Rex or a Tyrannosaur if you like. Now it's a theropod and I've sort of looked all around the place in different parts of the world looking at different theropods uh, and Tyrannosaurs and one of the things that I find missing every time I look at models and things is feathers and there's quite a lot of uh, new information and people thinking that these guys probably had feathers. Let's draw one with some feathers uh, let's look at the plus and minus of that. I am using a stick of charcoal just because it's dark and it shows up on video really well. If you don't have charcoal you can use pencil and follow along with me. Here's some roughs and I'm going to sort of probably draw a T-Rex in this position like this looking up shouting that way. I'll pop that off there to see you know what the plan is. We're going to start off drawing the hip part of the body, the biggest part of the body. Make a round circle like that. And put a drumstick hanging off there. Part of one hanging off there. The other part of the foot's like this. This part of the foot is like this. Now the head's that way, it's turning back. So the head is about here. marking in very gentle, very rough. See, lines aren't perfect, you, you get it wrong to start with, then you just go over it. So head's there, so the chest is coming around here, you're probably not seeing the back of the neck there. So this is the chest, so I'll put a line there. First little hand there, next little hand like that. And a tail off like this. So there's our T-Rex so far roughed out. <coughs> Let's get into some detail here. The important bit's probably this head here. So I'm going to refine that a bit. It's got stacks of teeth. I'll have this jaw coming down and make his mouth a little bit more open. So you see already I'm making corrections. So it's good to put something down even if it's wrong you can correct it later. At least you've got something to work with. That goes there. A bit more of the lower jaw there. Down here. So the eye socket goes like that. Yeah, he's looking ferocious, isn't he? Just gonna where the arm joins on there, just a little bit of a round bit there. A little bit of a round bit there where there's a crease. It's got two it's like that. Same the other side. Just put that little hand in. So it's part of the drumstick. Now you're just seeing it there. Going down into the floor there. Three big toes like that. And here I'm just going to shave that. So now this part of the drumstick there going back into the heel. We have a long heel there, big toes. To make sure that he's supported really well. Little bump there. Line there, make that tail look strong. Okay, now a few wrinkles here. So that's our start of our T Rex. Put a bit of shade here. Sh 
shading's the key. If you get the shading in, everything else works really well. A little handy hint is, see this charcoal here is shading really well because it's nice and flat. With your pencil, if you hold your pencil that way, you get more of the graphite hitting the paper. It's a little bit more like what I'm using. It takes a bit of practice though. Okay. Shading, it's just sort of gentle colouring in, really. Then you can make it heavier and press harder. You see I'm putting lines this way to kind of describe the shape a little bit. Sometimes it's good just to do one one that goes around just to describe the shape a little bit. This is back. Better put some detail here. The smaller you make the eye, the bigger the dinosaur looks, I've found. I'm going to do something special with the dinosaur in a minute. First, I'm going to put a bit here, pop some teeth in. Let's just draw straight over top of what I did before, just pressing a little bit harder. Covering the roof of the mouth. Bit of the there. Now one of the interesting things about dinosaurs in general is that we're constantly finding out new information about them. So whenever I'm drawing something like this, I can be pretty guaranteed, oh, what's the time now, 11 o'clock by about 5 o'clock, somebody's found out some more information about it and it's all completely wrong. After all, when I was a kid, dinosaurs used to just drag their tail around, just like this big model here in Texas. Now we know they're off the ground. They balance that out. But you know what? The latest I've heard is that T-Rex had some feathers. Let's just shove some wispy bits here on the tail. And I might pull it Run out a bit here. You can use your eraser and just, just put a little few feathers there. I'm not going to go overboard here. I'm going to go just like that. Just because it's kind of cool. So like I say, it's always changing. But I've shown you here how to box up the general shape. I've shown you how to do a bit of shading, a few little lines. You can always sort of put little details in, like I'll put a couple of little round circles there, some squiggles. And I've just drawn this in 2022. And I'm sure it's already out of date. I'm sure there's things wrong with it. But what you can do is get the general principles of drawing that I've just shown you here this sort of creature and you might do some research and you might find that T-Rexes are a rusty brown color or a bright orange they might be peacock blue I don't know you might find that if you watch the news every now and again a paleontologist somebody who studies dinosaurs will come out with some more information and if you get to this stage what you can do is use the eraser and make corrections 
and that was how to draw the T-Rex. And like I said, we're always getting new information. This video is going to be outdated probably by five o'clock today. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and maybe you know, if you didn't, let me know in the comments you know, what I could do better. And I'll see you in the next video.